The peace of the Lord be with you, and good morning. This is our devotion for Thursday, September 12th, and our um, psalm day for this week, right? So our psalm for this week is Psalm 116, verses 1 through 9. Psalm 116, 1 through 9, and um, you know we're at Thursday. We'll just uh, jump right into it. Um, follow the morning order, page 295 in the, uh, the Lutheran Service Book. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Psalm 116, verses 1 through 9. I love the Lord because he has heard my voice and my pleas for mercy. Because he has inclined his ear to me, therefore I will call on him as long as I live. The snares of death encompass me, the pangs of Sheol laid a hold on me. I suffered distress and anguish. Anguish. Then I called on the name of the Lord. O Lord, I, prepare, I pray, deliver my soul. Gracious is the Lord and righteous. Our God is merciful. The Lord preserves the simple. When I was brought low, he saved me. Return, O my soul, to your rest, for the Lord has dealt bountifully with you. For you have delivered my soul from death, my eyes from tears, my feet from stumbling. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. Let us pray. Lord, we love you because you have heard our voices and our pleas for mercy. You have inclined your ears to us, therefore we call on you as long as we live. The snares of death have encompassed us, the pangs of Sheol have laid hold on us. We suffer in distress and anguish. But we call on your name, and you deliver our soul. You are gracious, Lord, and righteous. You are merciful. You preserve the simple. When you brought us low, you saved us. We turn our souls to your rest, for you have dealt bountifully with us. You have delivered us from death, our eyes from tears, our feet from stumbling. Therefore, bless us to walk before you in the land of the living. Amen. Um, okay, so I think this is a uh, really pertinent psalm to the gospel lesson, right? So you have the, the, the boy who's demon-possessed uh, demon and, 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 and being thrown into water, being thrown into fire. Um, it's looking like he, he, he's, he's, she should die from that, right? And then um, you have Christ bringing the demon out of him. It's like he dies there too, right? So there's all this, you know, there's all this language about um, being in, in the snares of death and, um, and and God rescuing from that, right? So I love the Lord. Uh, so, so it's like we can almost hear this from his perspective. I mean, it's not, right? It's written well before him and, and it just, it fits well. But you see, you see how these fit because of these great themes that, that, that continue throughout. They unify the scripture, and, and, and this is you know the theme out of, out of life out of death, right? Uh, so I love the Lord because he's heard my voice and my pleas for mercy, because he inclined his ear to me. Therefore, I will call on him as long as I live. Uh, the snares of death encompass me. The pangs of Sheol, that's the pit. Um, it, 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 it sometimes means hell. It sometimes means death, just death itself. But it's a, the pit, right? Sometimes it means literally a pit. Like the throw, first time they use the word, uh, it's when Joseph's thrown in the, in the pit in, in, um, in the story of Joseph in Genesis. Um, the, the pangs of Sheol laid hold on me. I, st I suffered distress and anguish. Then I called on the name of the Lord. O Lord, I pray, deliver my soul. God is the Lord, the gracious is the Lord and righteous, our God is merciful, and he brings us out of that, right? Um, of course, in the, so there's the shift, though, right? And that's what I was, I was going to kind of go through the whole thing, and I just, I, I tip my hand. This is us, too, right? As we experience the hardships that we experience, as we live in the midst of death around us, this is all, this is all us. As we, uh, you know, maybe this, this goes... Um, in, in, in terms of the way of, you know, there's, there's kind of near misses with death. Maybe, maybe you've had a sickness where it looked like you were go going to die. Uh, and, and then, and then, and, and then you, you're brought back to, to health out of that. Uh, you know, that's, that's, that's such a common thing. Um, the other way we, we look at it is, is the death that our sin deserves, which is the eternal death and the promise that Christ has rescued us out of that. Right. So, so that's no matter what earthly circumstances we experience, um, the Lord has heard our pleas for mercy, and and that mercy is the forgiveness of our sins, right? So we call on Him as long as we live. So so death and hell do encompass us, but but then uh, but but then He brings us out of that. 
Um, but, but even still, sadly, uh, and, and, and this is difficult in this life, we, we do experience distress and anguish. And we call on the name of the Lord to deliver us. And, and he, he does promise. He promises that he delivers us. Um, and that's hard because we don't see it all now. And that's where we turn that to that faith, right, that, that, that we keep talking about this week. Turn toward him and his promises and know, see that, that, see that deliverance for the forgiveness of sins and know how pertinent that is for, for all of our, our daily life. Gracious is the Lord, and righteous is our God. He prefers the simple, preserves the simple. Uh, when I was brought low, he saved me. Uh, great note here from from um, St. Augustine. I, I, I mentioned Augustine somewhat regularly. Uh, church father around the year 400. But he, he writes in one of his writings, The knife which the physician causes, excuse me, the pain which the physician causes by his knife is not penal, but salutary. When we experience those low times, we have to understand that those aren't uh, punishment now, uh, because of our union with Christ, all of our sin is punished on the cross. It's now not punishment. Now it is, uh, it's helpful. It's to, to direct us toward that faith ultimately, right? Um, it hurts though. Oh uh, man, you know, when we go, go through those hardships, it, it hurts. Um, but he, but he has saved us. And, and so in that return, O oh, soul to your rest, for the Lord has dealt bountifully with you. You have delivered my soul from death, my eyes from tears, my feet from stumbling. From stumbling, I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. Right, uh, and that's the, the ultimately the land of the living is 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 the the, the, the last day, right? But uh, but we walk before the Lord, living even now. Um, Again, baptismal imagery, death and resurrection, uh, buried, buried with him, hidden through a baptism like his, to be raised in a resurrection like his. And, and you, are, uh, you are his baptized child, raised, and, and that walking in that new life in the land of the living. Thanks be to God. Amen. All right, uh, we continue with the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I thank you, my heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself my body and soul in all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. <laughs>